Hi Flosstube, I'm Rachel, Stitchy Rach, here on Flosstube and on Instagram. It's Thursday the 16th of March and this is my YouTube channel about cross stitch. Hi everyone, welcome, thanks for stopping by on this uh, very spring-like March day. The weather is very changeable here in Kent, we're having like sunshine and then rain and then hail and sunshine and rain and hail and yeah, bizarre. Um, but the daffodils are out and the lambs are in the field, so it's definitely got that lovely spring feeling. Um, thanks for stopping by, as I've just said. We'll see how this goes today. It took me about 10 minutes to set up the camera tripod, which is not a promising sign, given that it's like a literally two minute job and I do it all the time, but today it wasn't happening. This is my second take, uh, which is not promising, and I have no notes. So we will see how it goes. Thank you if you are new and have subscribed. I had a bit of an uptick of subscribers for my last video, so thank you very much for uh, coming and liking and subscribing. Thank you to those of you that commented on my World Book Day rant. It's good to know that I'm not alone. And as I said, if you're out and proud and love World Book Day, that's great. Um, I'm not. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that again. But thank you if, for those of you that... Um, sent me amusing anecdotes or wrote amusing comments or sent me some amusing uh, films. You know who you are. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a couple of days later filming than I thought I'd be. It's just been super busy and I don't know what it's been super busy with. It's just been busy. Tonight I'm going to a concert at my daughter's school. I think you're know how much I love someone else's squeaky violin and the good news is that not only do I get to go to the concert my husband's away on business so I get to take all the children with me on a school night to a concert that's probably not going to finish till 8 30. I'm super happy about it yeah anyway so that's going on. The Easter holidays will be upon us before we know it. I have a child's birthday coming up and I have my first uh, cross stitch retreat which I'm super happy about. So that is like a week and a day away I think. Oh, um, I haven't, I started to plan some things because there are some games we've been asked to take certain things so I'm starting to get all that together but I kind of oh, hasn't really sunk in yet that that's next week so I'm kind of yeah oh my god it's like a week away I need to decide what I'm going to take with me to stitch I don't really know I don't want to take anything too fiddly I can't decide what to, to take with me so I'll have to have a think about that as I understand there's not a lot of stitching that gets done at stitching retreats but I get the opportunity to stitch in the day much so I'll have to see I'll have to see how much stitching I get done but I'm really looking forward to it and if I'm going to meet you there Super excited, although a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous, it must be said. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So what have I got to show you today? I have... Did I bring that thing? I did. Right, okay. I have uh, some whips. You'll be not surprised at all to know I have no finishes and certainly no FFOs. Although yesterday, I was watching Jessie Marie's uh, latest video and she's done some finishing and of the floss tubes I regularly watch I would say she is the one most like me in the uh, quantity of fully finishing she does so it prompted me to think about doing some finishing I thought I'll start off small uh, I think she said oh you know why would you leave things unfinished when you can go and spend $85 on craft supplies and be underwhelmed by the result and that just really spoke to my heart so um anyway it prompted me to think no I should I should do some finishing so I'll start easy so I went I thought I'll, I'll do that bookmark I'll do that bookmark that I showed you during my flossmas that's been kicking around for about 20 years unfinished that is not an exaggeration I think I stitched that as a teenager so 20 years 20 years that has been unfinished so I'll do that Anyway, could I find that pile of stuff that I said um, this is stuff I should do something with? No. I could find all the stuff I was like, I don't know what to do with this, I'm just going to put it away again. All that stuff, yeah, I could find that. 
the pile of stuff that I was like, these are nice, I should do something with them. Nah, couldn't find, could not find them. I was like, I've clearly put them somewhere safe. Um, but it was in no, none of the places that I really store kind of finishes waiting to be finished. Um, so I did look for them for 45 minutes. I did find them. I did find them in the end after about 45 minutes of searching, which wasn't really 45 minutes, I had to be honest. But you know when you're like, I've got to find these now. Started thinking about it. Anyways, I have found the items in question. Then I decided I didn't actually have what I needed to finish it. Standard. So, I have ordered some stuff to finish it and hopefully it will be finished by next time I film. Because it's just a bookmark, right? Like, how hard can it be? How hard can it be? She says. So watch this space for some underwhelming finishing. Right, anyway, I digress. I have three whips. I've been doing a bit of knitting on my socks, I'll show you that. I have some haul and I have some happy mail. I have some happy mail, which made me happy, which is good. Um, you've seen this bit of haul, I'll show you this here, it's right here. I finally got myself a scissor frog, which, you know, we all know it's a flower frog really. I got this from eBay. It's a Jersey pottery probably 70s right there you go it's finally focused probably 70s flower frog um i really i love green i think i've said that before so you can see the reflection of the windows in it um i love green it's my favorite color and i love jersey pottery actually i have quite a bit of jersey pottery and it made me really sad when um they stopped selling online so you can now only buy jersey pottery from the Jersey Pottery Store in Jersey. Um, I used to really like buying some of their big platters and things online, but they don't they don't do that anymore. Anyway, so I finally have one. And um, yeah, really love it. So it's gonna sit there. I do have more scissors than that, they're just scattered to the four winds at the moment, but there you go. Starting to decorate my uh, filming spot with a bit of stitchy stuff. So that was one bit of all. Yeah, bought it off eBay. There were loads of them on eBay actually. If uh, if that strikes your fancy, I would uh, head on over there. It wasn't terribly expensive. Okay, what have I been working on since I last saw you? Right, let's have a look. And the first thing I've been working on, oh, I've just dumped all the haul on the floor. Uh, it's in a Penelope's Pocket project bag. And it is Quaker Alphabet by la -dee -da. I'm not going to say definitively this is out of print, but I have had a little look around and I can't see it anywhere, so it might be. But I haven't, I wouldn't say I've exhausted every supplier, so don't take my word for that. Now, last time you saw this, I didn't have an awful lot done, but it was one of my whip go calls for March and it got 10 days stitching and I have completed that 10 days stitching and I'm pretty pleased with how far I got. I've got some really good stitching days in on this. Sorry, I'm just trying to fold it so it's more easily manageable because it's on a piece of fabric that's bigger than it needs to be. This is where I am. So I am about halfway. So all this top motif is finished and I am literally, no I'm not literally, I am just over halfway through the alphabet because I've done that. N. But and I've started the border for the next bit of alphabet. So yeah, I'm about halfway. Really chuffed with that. It's beautiful. I'm so happy with it. Really, really lovely. Uh, this is stitched on. I'm have a little dig in the bag. Uh, 36 count latte from, I think it's foxglove and lace linens i haven't seen them selling anything for a while and i am stitching it not in the called for the called for was belsoir silk and i am stitching it with a, a sulky conversion just two sulky colors i like that's not gonna work is it you're not gonna see it if i do that there you go 
So I'm using this lighter blendable for the Quaker motifs and I'm using this dark blue for the letters. So the blendable is all 12 weights and it's 4055 and the solid kind of navy slash royal blue is 1293. I'm quite enjoying stitching them on 36 count actually. It gives a nice um, body, like there's a nice yeah kind of body to the stitches that you don't get with you know just one strand of of cotton so yeah i'm really happy with that i might take this one to the retreat to be honest because certainly these lines for the alphabet are just you know that's quite mindless stitching and it's all one color so this one's a possibility for coming with me to be honest so if you're coming to the essex needles retreat you might see that one in person haven't fully decided but it's a distinct possibility and I'd really like a finish I've had one finish so far this year which was the Valentine's piece I did for my husband um, and just so many of my whips are nowhere near a finish I don't think it's going to be a heavy finish year for me I don't I can't see a lot of finishes in my life okay and then I said I was going to change up my out and about project because this is something I want out of the whip pile and if I actually want it out of the whip pile then occasionally you have to stitch on it. And what is this? This is Seize the Day by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. This has been in my whip pile since it was a sow in 2019. I didn't get very far. But I worked on it quite a bit last year as an out and about project and I would like to finish it this year. I haven't done a lot since um, I saw you last, but this is where I am. So I've mainly been working on those two sand castles down there. Um, they kind of blend in a little bit to the fabric, these two here. I'm not very happy with my stitches on the one with the pink flag, but I'm not ripping it out. I'm just not. So that's where I am. So the beach, I think, is finished once I've got a little bit of that kite to... Um, finish off. The reason that is unfinished is because the colour for that isn't in this project bag and I keep meaning to pull it out and then never remember. I might do that after I've filmed. Um, but I think once I've finished those sandcastles then the beach is basically finished. I have been having an internal debate with myself, where's that cover sheet gone? About, um, where's the cover sheet gone? I had it just a second ago. Oh, it's so annoying. Literally, what have I done with that? Mystery. Did, oh, I'll put it here. I'll put it here. I've been having an internal debate with myself as to whether I want to stitch this aeroplane and the banner up here. Because for me, it's not my favourite part of the design. And I actually don't think it needs it. I don't think you feel, oh, it's missing something up there in the sky. I might ask the child this is going to belong to what they think. But I am not I'm not tempted to stitch that. Must be said. Must be said. So we'll see. Oh, that's a decision to be made. But then I come down to the sea and I've got to just whiz along with the sea. This is stitched on some crafty kitten fabric. They don't trade anymore, but in case any of you are interested and have a stash. It's 32 count linen in Gold Rush by Crafty Kitten. Now I'm using all the called for DMC. The chart's still available on Caterpillar Cross Stitch's website if you would like to stitch it. So yeah, I will get some out and about stitching done today. Um, I took this to swimming last night. For those of you that were interested in where my uh, swimming stitching had gone, it is now back. We are now back. We've only been going to the new pool, I think that last night was the fourth night. And it's a new pool to the swimming school as well. And the first week, they weren't sure if we were allowed to sit on the side or not. Um, it's in like a retirement village. So it's built this new retirement village uh, nearish to where we live. And the pool is part of that complex. So they've hired it for kids swimming lessons for a few hours a week. And so they were, it was unclear with the owners as to whether we could sit on the side. 
so I didn't sit on the side the first week and then the second week and my kids came out and said they hated the new pool because it was so cold and then the second week swimming was off because the pool was too cold anyway they seem to have now sorted the temperature in the pool but I take my eldest with me so I never used to take my eldest swimming she used to go to an after school club at her school and I used to pick her up on the way back but now I pick her up before swimming so she comes with me so last week we went to the cafe in the complex and we sat in there it wasn't actually open so we could sit in there and it's quite a nice place to sit and she did some reading and whatnot um but last night we did sit on the poolside so i don't know if we'll sometimes go and sit in the cafe and sometimes sit on the poolside not sure but in general swimming stitching is now back so hopefully some of you saw it on my instagram last night god that was a lot of waffle wasn't it not none of you are interested in my logistical swimming issues or well, not issues really just my logistics for my children's swimming lessons anyway so i will get some out and about stitching on this tonight so i do need to go and find that blue because i need it to do the c as well um this line of kind of surf that delineates the beach from the the sea let me know what you think about that airplane i really don't think you would feel it was lacking something if i don't put that airplane in but tell me what you think so yes, I would like to finish that as well. Maybe I'll take that to the Essex Needles Retreat too. Because it is quite chunky blocks of colour. Just lots of little motifs with chunky blocks of colour. Maybe. Maybe I'll do that. So that was what I've been working on for out and about stitching. And then the final thing I've been working on since I last saw you was my other March Whip Go call. It came out, so as I said, I've done my March Whip Go for Quick Round for that. And this is the other March Whip Go call. And this is it's in a House of Stitch and Stash project bag. And the pattern is from um, the Sewing Club book by Blackbird Designs. I always never know how to say that because it's not the Sewing Club, it's sewing club book by blackbird designs but i feel like when you say it, you need to say the book sewing club i don't know anyway it's sewing club by blackbird Designs. it's a great book if you don't have it i think it's still in print i'm pretty sure it's still in print it's only a couple of years old when was it published by blackbird designs 2020 i think my kids bought it me for mother's day in 2020 Obviously, I asked them for it. They just randomly uh, get the idea to buy me Blackbird Designs. Anyway, I'm stitching this one. That's the only photo of it in the book, I'm afraid. I can't show you the back. But it's uh, called Rose Hips and Ivy. It's the first pattern in the book. And I've made some fabulous progress on this one. I have nearly finished the entire border. This is where I am. And that is only when I start Sunday I started stitching on this. I didn't stitch on Saturday. Not for any particular reason, I just didn't. Um but yeah, I, did, I only had one side border done and I think three of those strawberries at the top and maybe two of those berries at the bottom. But anyway, I've pretty much nearly finished it. I've basically just got to do the strawberries across the top now and then the motifs in the middle so i'm really pleased with the progress i've made on that and it does have a stitched top for the drum as well because i mean obviously i'll be finishing it into a drum almost immediately i finish the stitching as you know that's how it that's how it works here so yeah really enjoying it actually so i started this when did i start this? I, this is a 2021 start pretty sure and I wasn't feeling it actually, I was a bit like, mm. and I got it out at Christmas for a couple of days and really kind of pootled around on it. But I've, I've got into a rhythm with it this week on those borders. I think once that's the trick, isn't it, with kind of borders uh, and sampler type borders, finding how you stitch it and just get it into the rhythm because... Once you check the pattern that it is just a repeat and there isn't any funny because sometimes they just do just change something funnily, don't they? But it isn't, it's just a repeat. So once you kind of get into that rhythm, it's quite easy stitching. So yeah, I've been really enjoying it. 
I'm not stitching this on the cord for. What's the cord for? The cord for is, mm, that's not the right pattern. Winter's Brew by R&R. &R. But this is a hog bristle by Fox and Rabbit. It's a 36 count. I kept it 36 count. Um, just so that, because it's got a stitch top for the drama and I didn't want to start messing around with sizes and then throw everything out. I'm sure it would have been fine, but I just, I thought it'd be easy if I just stuck to the cold for count. I'm really enjoying it. Stitching it one over two. And I'm stitching it with all the cold for threads, which are all Weeks Dye Works. And um, that's the colour palette there. So the only thing I would say is that I don't know if it's just my dye, lots of these two threads. There's brick and there's baked apple. They're actually showing on the camera more differently than they do in real life. In real life, depending on the lighting, they can look almost exactly the same. There's quite a marked difference on the camera there. They're looking more pinky than they are in real life. They're not as bright as that. Anyway, so yes. Enjoying that. I probably won't take that one to the Essex Needles Retreat. There's a lot of, um, well, now that I've nearly finished the border, the middle's a bit more county, and I don't think that'll work so well for retreat stitching. So, yeah, been enjoying that. <clears throat> so, that's everything I've worked on, um, cross stitch wise. It's not loads of projects, but loads of progress. I feel loads of progress, so I'm really happy with that. Right. What shall we do next? Shall we, do you want to see my happy mail? Would you like to see my happy mail? It made me happy. So my first happy mail, this confused me. So let me just put my hand across this. Came like this. It's got an Australian stamp on it. Yeah. And I was like, what have I ordered? Who's sending me something? Who do I know in Australia? Who's sending me something from Australia? Anyway, so I was a bit puzzled and I opened it. And it had a lot of lovely things in it. Um, and it was from a nice postcard. There you go. Can you see that? Uh, and it was from um, Leslie, who won a giveaway for me a little while ago. Uh, and sent me all this stuff, which is just amazing. And I said thank you to her. And she really didn't need to, but it was a really lovely gesture. Um, so shall I show you what she sent? She sent, if you watch my Flossmas, you'll know why she sent this. She said that she was standing in the post office and she saw this. And it's a folding shopping bag. But it's Blinky Bill, who I'd stitched years and years ago. And I showed a couple of my finishes in my Fossmas video so she saw that and thought of me so she picked that up and then she sent me a few cross stitch things that um she said were a bit English for us now a bit English for her now living in Australia uh, but she wondered if I might like them so the first one was this Oast House uh, if you know anything about Kent you'll know Oast Houses are ubiquitous in Kent and we do have an Oast House so that was one of the things she sent. And then she sent me, so I have some post-it notes on them with some notes. She sent me kind of a, a seasonal cross-stitch collection. So this is a spring one, I love this one. Cause you know me and a veg patch and a garden. And those bunnies are cute. So that's the spring one. That's a summer one with the ducks and the picnic. I like that one as well. It's the autumn one and the winter so I'm going to add those to my stash because I really like particularly the um, spring and the summer ones I really really like it's, it has a suggested stitching time it says on it can you see that it says approximate stitching time 70 hours there you go and then she sent me a really lovely little embroidery kit with some Australian wildflowers I'll make that focus. Go on, you know you want to. The camera doesn't want to focus much today, does it? There you go. Now, I must admit, embroidery scares me a little bit. 
but I, I always wanted to have a go, so I will, I will have a go at that. Maybe over the summer, like a little summer holiday stitch. So that was my first piece of Happy Mail. Really, really lovely and very unexpected. And then the second piece of Happy Mail I got was, um, so I knew this was coming because the person had to ask for my dress, but it was from Roz of Roz Clark Craft. And she sent me, what did she send me? She sent me a nice card with a whale on it. And then she sent me, sorry about the rustle, two balls of West Yorkshire Spinner Sock Yarn. How nice is that? Thank you, Ross. Very, um, everyone's been very enabling of the knitting. So she said that um, these are in her stash and for various reasons, um, she wouldn't be using them at the moment. And so she would like me to have them to knit some more socks. So it's amazing. Thank you, Ross. That everyone is, uh, yeah, as I say, being extremely enabling of the knitting. So yeah, it's really nice to just get some mail that isn't a bill. <laughs> so thank you both of you. It's really kind of you to think of me. Right. I think my phone's buzzing. Oh, it's just my children's school. Okay, so there I've got a bit of haul. So I'll do my cross stitch haul first and then I will do the knitting and then if you don't want to stay for the knitting, you don't have to stay for the knitting. So give me one sec and then I'll show you my haul. Okay, so what have I got haul wise? So first of all, I have some haul that I should have showed last time, but I didn't, I forgot. I'm just picking up the haul, I should have done that just while I paused, shouldn't I? I'm dropping, picking up all the haul. Oh God, I told you it was gonna be a mess today. Picking up all the haul I dropped earlier and then didn't pick up when I saw the camera. So the first things I should have shown in my last floss tube, but forgot all about them. Uh, having gone, I haven't really bought very much. Um, was about a month ago, Lakeside Needlecraft had a 35% off sale on Ink Circles charts. So I went and um, got quite a few actually, but 35% it was a really good discount um, on these charts. So I got arranging vegetables, because you know me, and a uh, veg garden stitch. I got arranging for orchestra. Arranging the sewing kit. Arranging the kitchen aids. And I love this. That's kind of all my like things, right? The garden with the vegetables, the stitching, the kitchen, and the music one is more um one of my children plays a few instruments, so that was more for her, but so they were the arranging ones. Then I got um, this one, Athene Nocturna, which is this owl, this Greek owl, which I really liked. And I'm still lusting after a bird wall, having seen Yasmin's from Yasmin Made with Love. So that was brought with that in mind. And then uh, Dog's Declaration, which I've liked for ages Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Squirrels. My dog loves a pursuit of a squirrel. So yes, so I picked those up a little while ago and then, oh I've been on eBay and Stash Unload, it's always dangerous isn't it, eBay and Stash Unload. So from eBay I picked up this anchor chart of these birds, you see a theme here, I'm liking the birds at the moment. So let's see if I can name them, oh, I don't know what that one is. So does anyone know what this is with the blue breast up here? No idea what that is. Shall we see? Shall we see if it says inside? I think I can name the others. It doesn't. It doesn't name the birds as far as I can see. No, it does not. So I don't know what that is with the blue breast. If you know, tell me. I'm pretty sure this is a bullfinch here, and a robin, and a greenfinch. So if you know what this dude is, I've never seen anything like that, let me know. But yeah, I really liked those. Just 
like the birds. Picked that up for not very much money on eBay at all. And then on stash and load, I got some Plum Streets. So I got, uh, I hadn't seen two of these before actually. How old are they? Have they got copyright on them? 24, that's a 2014. This is a 2017. So I got, um, this is the 2014 one. It's called Autumn Gifts. And I hadn't seen that one before. I liked that one. Mm. At the bottom it says, mm. Every good and perfect gift is from above, wrought by SB. And then I got this one, A Thousand Hills. And I just like the pastoral scene in that. I might change the words. I'm not sure. It says, the fowls above, the Lord doth know, the earth will one will wonder he... Sorry, start again. The fowls above, the Lord doth know, the earth with wonder he fills, the beasts of the forest belong but to him, and the cattle on a thousand hills. And then, uh, hello winter. So I have hello spring. Um, I quite like that sheep on hello winter. So I'll pick those up. And then uh, the last bit of stitching haul was my um, floss club from Lakeside Needlecraft. So we're now in, so they sent me 10 skeins of classic colour works each month. So we're now in the O's mainly. I think I had a couple of the M's hanging around, but we're now mainly in the O's. So I'm not going to run through all of them because I'm sure you're all familiar with classic colour works. But that's kind of, ooh what I got this month. My favourite was this one actually. I really liked this colour. Onion skin. Is that going to show? There you go. I really, it's showing a bit, um, bit more yellow than it is in real life. Um, yeah, really liked that. Really liked that colour. So yeah, so I think that's all I've got in terms of stitching stuff. Uh, I haven't really been watching for it's just been so busy I haven't managed to watch much floss tube so I'm a bit behind my floss tube watching so apologies I'm not going to do any shout outs or anything really today um because yeah, as I say I haven't, I haven't watched much I've just been so busy I don't, I don't know what I've been busy with but I have been <laughs> I have been busy um oh I'm going to do a little bit of knitting if you're not up for knitting I'll see you in a couple of weeks Thank you for stopping by. See you later, Stitchers. For those of you that are going to hang around for the few minutes of knitting, it's not loads. It's what I've got for you. So my Penelope's pocket pouch, I have got my sock. And I am still on my second sock, but we are now getting there. We are now beyond the cuff. So I'm now working down the leg. So I finished the cuff and I'm working down the leg. Thanks to a couple of children's parties. It doesn't want to focus today, does it? It's not It's not helping me today. It's not going to help me. There you go. So I'm... Yeah, I'm working my way down the leg. And I will do some of this tonight at the concert. Because it's quite a nice little... Just round and round and round while I'm at the concert tonight. So I will, I will do some of that. And hopefully I can cast on another pair. Although my, one of my children now wants a hat and some wrist warmers, so that's on the list as well. I bought the wool. The wool stash is growing. It's not as bad as the stitching stash. There's no way I'm going to stitch all my stitching stash before I die. No way. Not on your Nelly. Um... Right, and then the only other bit of haul I have is some knitting haul, sorry for the crinkle, and it's the uh, February club, the art club from Skein and the Stitch. So February was uh, Renaissance fresco, so the colour was inspired by the Renaissance fresco, and I got uh, a full skein, a full skein of DK and a mini skein of sock in that colourway. So that's my plan for each of these clubs this year, to get a full skein of DK. I told you, it's just not going to help me. And a mini skein of sock. 
Um, I haven't got anything white. No. Oh. Hopefully. I forgot what to do. I might stitch a blanket or a shawl or something. I'd quite like to knit a shawl. I haven't knitted a shawl. So yeah. Job jobbed. Right. That's it. That's all I've got. Thank you very much for stopping by. It's been a bit chaotic today, but I didn't go on a rant like I did last time. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. If you're going to the Essex Needles Retreat, I will see you in just over a week. I'm coming on the Friday, I'm not coming Thursday night, I'm coming Friday after I've done the school run. Yeah, I'm super excited. So hopefully I'll see some of you there. And if not, I will see you in a couple of weeks when I'll get to tell you all about it. And we'll be in the midst of Easter holiday chaos, so you know, expect a chaotic filming. But until I see you later, Hi, Stitches. <laughs>